We made a nice run, but uh, just got nothing to flow, and it's an ugly loss. I lost. I'm out. Now, back to Steiny and Guru on 95.7 The Game. You know what, Goo? That's a great place to start. Let me fix my camera. Yeah. But that's a great place to start, and in all your ramblings, your m- maniacal ramblings Truth. about this team, we haven't acknowledged... They don't get blown out. They've played more close games than any team this year. So, okay, they got blown out Ask last me night. if I care. They got blown out last night. Big deal. It happens to every team a half dozen times. And this team has been competitive in most of their games. They've got the m- most close games of any team. So it's like, give them a break. They got blown out with a bad effort. Uh, bring in that paper when I go number two again. I could care less about the column of how competitive you are. <laughs> what I want to get to is Well, you should. There are 500 teams. That's I, important. Can I get something off my chest? Sure. So we have friends in this business, you oh. and I. The text is during the show. Tone. And he goes, Steiny, I just look. I'm in a good mood. My boy Tone. Oh, Tone. Oh, Steiny's in your ass today. Oh, yeah. You're not. No, I am. I'm just holding on to the dynasty. I'm emotional. I'm not <laughs> shamed of it. Grow so up. you're not. It's like Fillmore Mike. Guru wants Grow anybody. Up. No, you Mike. Yeah, you I do. want ballers. You tell him, Mike. Don't say I want anybody. I just, I'm tired of being misunderstood. I'm Actually, holding on. <laughs> You've been here way before, <laughs> three years ago. But now you're looking, it's looking like you might get the weather report right. Your file is rain. Study guest it's raining and right now. You had drizzling. the year last year. And you know what you're doing right now? <laughs> what did you're setting up well, a you big lost. 20. I didn't lose anything. You ended the year with the fantasy loss. That's that a was... win. Yeah. First, th- and there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> My first ever I don't know what to year in fantasy year football. Or this year. Second place, $400 <laughs> right in your freaking face. It but that's a, a failure. Year. No, it wasn't. I, I don't know if no, it wasn't. goes in 23 two or people, 24. Two people won money. <laughs> and I you was did. one of them. I'm jealous. And you know what? You ought to be ashamed because I've been paying for some of your drinks with that money. Not Friday. Yes, I did. No, I got a bill. It hurt. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. I'm st- I'm just holding on. Yeah, I know you are, and it's pathetic. And the longer you hold on, the more you're messing yourself. Uh, what are the and Warriors your future as an organization doing right now? They're well, they're going to welcome Draymond back. Yeah. I believe see how it goes by the eighth of February. And did you see the uh, the GM for Toronto? I'll mess up his name. And Dunleavy talking, and they're all hearing. Masai, you hear? It? Yeah, Masai. Okay. I'm like, man, I wish something was happening. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the internet. Hey, uh, by the way, did you see uh, see what I did on my uh, on my blog? Uh, I'm proud. No, yeah. I didn't see. So I, you know how everybody makes fun, and I'll just hold it up to the camera. Everybody makes fun of my notes. I don't. It's almost genius, like. But go ahead. So <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? I'll just take a photo on my notes. So I just. I, you uh, put Ma- it up. MatthewSteinmetz.com. Okay. Uh, it's all like our talking points for the show, but it's in my own handwriting, and that's all I'm saying. And if you want to check out. That's dope. They, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do it like every day at like nine. And every we'll day? To, I know. It's going to be hard. Over Especially when you're in here uh, distracting me uh, before a show. But I'll try. And then like, you know, today it said, uh, you know, Steph Curry may have played his worst game of the year. Uh, uh, the rat on the table is: Did Draymond's presence affect their? Man, I can't put that in. energy level. Yeah. Um, do, how much do we care about Draymond Green and the podcast that he just uh, that he just dropped? Um, why do we even need to experiment with Kaminga and Wiggins? I mean, what, what, you yeah. won't hear me say yeah, anything. Okay. Hey. Did Draymond Evan? Uh, Matthew, you, you, Matthew Steinmetz uh, okay. If you'd like to check that out, we're up to 138 visitors today. Now, if it were me, guys, I'm this type. You know, I've been a part of a few teams in my, in my life. And is there any part of Draymond's podcast where he apologizes to his teammates? That's a real Daryl L. Question. Johnson. The first question. I hope. How about this? Here's I. I have a. I would, go ahead. Okay. This is. It sounds like this may be interesting, though. Coach Kerr came to visit me after shoot-around. And we sat in the yard. He cried. I cried. Because there's a bond there that seen it all. Seen the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. And he just said to me, I want you to end this the right way. I want us to end this the right way. And you're not doing that right now. So I want you to do what you have to do 
to get in a space to where you can do that and that we can do that. Okay. I'm I just like I'm looking for that sound bite of yeah, I apologize to my teammates. Well, he was crying with that uh, with uh, Steve. Yeah. Draymond. Uh, uh, so, Chris A says yes, he does. Goose. So well, he did apologize. He mentioned that on the podcast. Yeah. So he brought who brought up the rant? Let's take a listen. Draymond bringing up the rant. He's acknowledging essentially what I want the world to know about me, and then he spoke about help, and I'm like, how are he going to say I need help? And when I went back through it with another lens, I was like, maybe you shouldn't hear help so negatively. Maybe you're listening to the word help with the same mindset that the word help meant when you were 15 years old. So maybe you shouldn't hear that negatively, so negatively. And maybe he's not saying that as negatively as you're taking. And even if he was, I made a decision in that moment that I wasn't going to take it that way. For me, it was a very proud moment for me because I said, you're ready for growth. Listen, I'm smiling. I'm, hey, I, but so I, 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 I bought that. I don't that. have a problem with that. No, now that was, that's maturity right there. Damn, Day Day. It, it, it could have been every bit as much maturity had he just kept it to himself and mm. start. But whatever, I'm not hating on yeah, that. Yeah, because you remember we had the show and I stopped. Evan had to help us because everybody was calling in saying the man needed help. And I was like, let's just be careful because there's nothing wrong with help. But the, the guy kind of loses it on the court. But he he turned into that, and then he died. He's smart, man. By the way, I've got to acknowledge, we've got, we've got this guy on the Comcast business text line. I would say, and I'll tell you what, he's unbelievable. I'm just going to assume he's a, he's a he. He's unbelievable. He never goes more than a day or two without texting this in. From the 415, every single day we'll see some variation. Of what is it? Not on the-, the Warriors are built on a house of lies. <laughs> <laughs> we have a guy who sends that to us every single show. It's not true. Of course not. You don't go to six finals, straight, six straight trips to the finals, Donnie. Built on a house of lies. Come on now. What does it even mean? That... This thing is toxic and is never. Well, it is now. Well, yeah, it never was real. It never was a thing of substance. It never was. I'm um, my brother's I didn't keeper. Say it. Strength in numbers. Four one five. Guru says that's a lie. Yeah. That the Warriors were. Well, now it's built. all. It can be no, whatever. Said, we said, said Ricky built. Lake. Yeah. Are bi- By the way, she, you said she was Italian. That's what threw me off the. Well, other Hispanic. Day. That's if different. I had I know. If I, I was guessing, but yeah, you went and looked her up. What was she? I didn't look her up. Oh, I never thought of her as Italian. Who, who was it? Uh, Ricky Lake. No, she uh, is Jewish. So Guru the other day in one of his many, many... Spadoni was here. You know, talking about, oh, who was that other talk show host? The Italian, of course. I'm like, Alyssa Milano. <laughs> she had a show. <laughs> no, not her. And then, it, charmed. Yeah, and then he goes, Ricky... And then he's like, oh, Ricky Lake. That's right. She's not Italian. Yeah. I, I got oh, it wrong, no. bud. Did you haven't once mentioned the uh, tonight national championship game. Let's go to Lou in Lafayette. Hey, Lou, how you doing? Lou. Really good, really good. Uh, you, you you guys are great, and oh, you're on you. fire this morning. Tremendous. Uh, and, uh, you know, Steinmetz, uh, he's like a, uh, this morning, like the CEO of a well-run corporation. Uh, he's being very prudent, and he's probably right. But, uh, Guru, uh, here's, here's my, uh, here's my Give it argument to me. against him. Well, uh, to me... Draymond Green is a number two, and uh, I heard somebody say mm. uh, he's in line, you know, based on the play earlier in the season, to be, you know, one of the top defensive players in the league. So I think that uh, I think that this is January. We're a long ways off from April and May. Draymond comes back, plays the way he was early in the season, mm-hmm. makes the uh, all defensive team, and uh, and now we got a number two. All right, and if you don't agree with me, uh, I give you an example. Uh, this time last year, I'm sure the LA uh, talk shows were just ripping the heck out of uh, Anthony Davis, uh, injury prone, head case. He's done. He's not worth a darn. Well, uh, you know what happened after that. So my point is, look, we're in January, and uh, 
all we got to do is get a 10 seed. And if we got Draymond as a true number two, uh, we, we got a chance. And, uh, uh, you know, I could go on. I'll just stop with that. I'll tell you this. You are the president of the Warrior It's Not Over Fan Club. I'm vice president. But with what you just said, you – hey, Stiney, that's – that's graveyard love. He's riding hey, it till the wheel fall off because I can't tell hey, you Draymond's the number two. Lou, I'll tell I you can't. right. Lou, why don't you go meet Guru out for a drink Boo, after L- work Lou. today? Because you guys got more in common <laughs> he said, than I do with Guru. He said, Draymond, I, I can't do that. I got to get some buckets. How about this? The 209 on the Comcast Business text line. Who you got, Washington or Michigan? I, I just got, said that. Yeah, I know, but I like it when the, we can include the audience. And Evan did remind that Lakers still, Laker fans still going in on AD. But go ahead. But he's got a more recent title than the Warriors, doesn't he? Oh no, that was before. Well, if you count the bubble, the bus, but don't uh, here we go. It's uh, the, this is I'm vin- playing. This is vintage Homer Guru. Uh, the, our dynasty's not dead, and the Lakers championship didn't count. Come on! Oh buddy. my gosh! Come on! This I got a big upset. You're not, you're not, no, huh. my, my, I want Michigan. I know you're going to be like, Steiny, I thought you hated Harbaugh. I, I kind of do. I, I want him to win yeah, and come to the NFL. I kind of just want, I kind of just want Michigan. Why? You know why? Who are they playing? Washington. Yep. It's like, <laughs> come on. dub. Yeah, well, nobody cares about Washington. Seriously. It's, it's, it's among the most nondescript programs we got. I'm trying to One alienate every Washington University yeah, alum no, they're right coming. now. Somebody's going to call. Who's their coach? Who's this meathead? Who's their coach? Is this a team with Penix? DeBoer. DeBoer is his last name. DeBoer. Peter DeBoer, <laughs> the guy who coached the Sharks? <laughs> the Sharks. <laughs> Jeez, he's got some Kalen. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and they got Penix, right? Yeah. Do we like Penix? I do. Big Penix energy. You like him good? Yeah. Let's go Michigan. Where's where my money's Let's on. bet on the game. How about that one yesterday? Well, you got two bad bets. You're in trouble. What are you talking about? Sacramento King for me. What's the other one? Warriors (laughs) Road. So, (laughs) Guru and I made two bets. One I've already locked up, and the other is (laughs) 50-50, and he feels good. Oh, boy. (laughs) Let's go to to Brian and Hayward. The stack. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Maybe we could go get Bam out of bio. Thank you. For Pajemski. Uh, ba- okay. Bam. I'm sorry. Bam out of bio for Pajemski? Is that what you said? Yeah, you think Miami do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's playing. I would love that for us, but I yeah, like Pajemski. I like him, too. Now, what do you got, um, Brian? I was just... I just... Never mind. All you, buddy. I just want to know, guys. Um, The last caller brought up, uh, he's become president of the something warriors club and gurus the vp mm-hmm. i have great timing fellas can i join mm-hmm. tell us what you got me. first i can see the light at the end <laughs> i can see the light at the end of the tunnel i saw a little interview with draymond green this morning uh he extended his um show and call me crazy but i saw a little bit of maturity in his voice i heard what he okay. said with adam silver and i think that baby steps are what we need to look for and not drastic change immediately. Um, it's impossible to expect a human being who has been like this for practically as long as we've known to make an immediate change. You're hired, Brian, president Brian, of Brian, fan Brian, operations, no, there's, Brian. No, there's he's thanks, in. Brian. Appreciate the call. No, there's two things going on here. One is I'll absolutely, you know what? I'll, I'll open my heart up to Draymond again. And he, the basketball player. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, he sounded contrite mm-hmm. and sincere. He does frequently. Okay, congrats, Draymond. Like, he's coming back. We'll see what happens. But it's like, they have 19 problems. All right. He ain't, if Draymond comes back and balls out, guess what? They'll win four out of their next six. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm willing to give Draymond the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't solve all their problems. Not at all. Not even close. And we saw problems when he was on the court. The whole thing now is there's no doubts, Donnie. I don't want to say hemorrhaging. If, if you're okay with that, I'm just talking about any Warrior fan, that's fine. He does help. So at this joint, at this juncture, I'm just throwing anything at the wall when it comes to the Warriors 
and I will not rob or hate on Draymond to where he can't help. Will that equate to winning? I We sure hope so. But, man, I just hate that he wasn't ready to go when they announced he was back. Hey, Steve Kerr, why? Let me ask you a question, Steve. Even though we know in your heart of hearts that you don't think Kaminga and Wiggins can play together, why'd you start them then? Well, you know, we've talked about uh, trying to get them together, you know, theoretically, uh, our two longest, uh, most athletic players. So we have not been a good defensive team this year. So we've wanted to, to try it. It hasn't, you know, connected really. It hasn't been good for all season, but we're, we're experimenting. You know, we've Gary out, Draymond out. We're trying to find a, a two-way lineup that can help us. But obviously, the um, you know, that lineup didn't click. Man, it let me, didn't. Let me tell you what else I saw last night over the course of the game. It's hard to explain, but I really, if you watch that game start to finish, it really felt to me like Kaminga was in more positions last night to make a play or to make something happen, almost as if Steve Kerr were saying, All right, Jonathan, you know what? We're going to give you some opportunities to cook. Mm. He's so far from being a player like that. He, we're expecting too much from this kid. I, I think we want we want, and I think he expects too much. Like I think Jonathan Kaminga wants to be a guy who gets the ball in the front court. You know, ninety percent of the time, he makes a move or he starts yeah. the off. He can't. Well, I got. He you. can't do that. I call it the Kevin Durant, Donnie. Well, he's not. Well, that's. What do you mean? Like, I think they give him the ball. Everybody watch out and watch me cook. And we well, seen that's fun. That's that nice last year's summer league. To but where, he can't. He doesn't know how to. Like, I hear you. I hear you. Do you ever think Jonathan Kaminga is going to be the type of player? Serious. I'm asking Warrior fans. Do you ever see? And I get he's 21. Do you ever see Jonathan Kaminga the type of player who starts a game, runs up and down, assesses the game, says, you know what? I got to hit the glass right now because we, we get see if I can get some cheap offensive glass. And then he plays. You know what? We need some scoring now. I'm going to try to go get some. You know what? I'm a couple. We got a couple guys who I want to try to get involved. So I'm going to try to pass it to those guys. Do you know how much that is to expect out of him mm. to like measure a game and to? He's not there. I don't know if he'll ever be there because that's asking a lot out of a player. Well, what if I were to tell you this? It seems to me, and what I think I know of Jonathan Kaminga in his game, if he pulled up on us right here and was on the mic, I believe he thinks he has the same gifts as a Jason Tatum. I feel like he thinks his game is not there yet, but it's on that fast track to get to that. And I don't think his handle will ever allow him to be that. He can prove me wrong, but Stani, I look at Jonathan Kaminga and I almost got into it. I did love the clapping and emotion uh, when he got into it. But at the end of the day, I think he thinks his game is further along and you can give it to him. Everybody watch out and watch me cook. Give me a above average, below average, or average. Okay. How's that Kaminga as a rebounder? He's below average. Do you need? Well, well there's two things going on because I'm okay. So, he's I below average as a rebounder. Yeah. How is he as a passer? I was going wheel. Uh, the below average. He's below average yeah. now as a passer yeah. and a rebounder. Yeah. How is he defensively when he's not on the ball? Average. <laughs> below average. Uh -huh. How is he creating a play for a teammate? The below average. Okay. How is his overall basketball IQ? Average. But what you didn't say the one thing he's above average. Athleticism? Yeah, attacking the rim. Right. And the, with his right hand. Wiggins, too. Yeah, exactly. The, you know what? This this bothered people, but Kerr's right. And it maybe the, like this is where a coach will say something and it's really a shot at either Dunleavy or Myers. They're redundant. Wiggins and Kaminga are redundant. Oh, man. They are. I hear that over the weekend. Kerr said it. He used no, that it word. was Evan. He t t t uh, texted Vine that said he agreed with Kerr. If I, can go I do too. With that, what's not to like? Like I came what's off of not that to after agree you. with. What about this? I came off of all that. They got to play together because I was so offended that well, not one of them knew. You know what? You changed not, your mind on that about not two that, games. Well, last night was just something to see. Not one of them had the sense to not say, I'm ignore the other three guys, but we know what time it is. 
let, let's take it upon us to make some good music here within the team dynamic and to go out there and Andrew Wiggins act like he was allergic to the basketball or it was a root canal to, to create a shot, I just – that was the worst part of that first half. And, God, give Kerr all the credit in the world. He changed that SOB how, how old's, uh, in, in, in halftime. How old's Jason Tatum? I want to guess here. I think, like, 25. So, Jason – like, this is what – again, I mean – Kaminga is not Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's 25. Man. I mean, Kaminga can't change direction with his dribble. Oh, man, Steiny. But, so, so how Jason much are you Tatum yeah. is the best player on a team that went right. to the finals. Right. Right. Like, what? this is what I mean. What are we doing? It's unfair to Kaminga. But in regard to him, you holding Tatum, on to him, Jason fair, Tatum Steiny? came out of college and he was fairly okay. refined. Can Kaminga get there then? Not, no, not in a year or so two. It's going to take him. No, oh, I wouldn't move him. How long are you waiting? I'll wait forever for Kaminga. Because I, I don't have the ex, I don't have the expectations he's going to be a number one player on a team. I think he can be a piece. I look at Jonathan Kaminga and I can say, you know what? All right, Curry's better than him. Can I find two more guys? that are better than Jonathan Kaminga. Because if I can find two guys better than Kaminga and bring them on here and move Kaminga to fourth in the pecking order offensively, now we may have something. I can average 20 and 10 and 5. Well, we don't know that. You want to bet on it, Goo? No, well, we'd be here. Hopefully, I mean, you really think Jonathan Kaminga is going to average five assists in any year he ever plays in the NBA? I don't. 